Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about sleep training. I just wanted to share my experience with what we're doing, what works, what doesn't work, um, the struggles, and just our story. So Adeline never, since she was a newborn, she never got the amount of sleep that they say that age is supposed to be sleeping. Um, she's always gotten like two or three hours less. So this entire time I've worked so hard into trying to get her to sleep more, but it just doesn't happen. So I've accepted it. She's like her father. She doesn't like to sleep. We're gonna move on. Um, so in the beginning, when she was a newborn, she was by my bedside, our bedside, on my side. Um, and she slept fine for the most part. She usually got um, like five, six, sometimes seven hours um, on occasion at first and then would wake up and nurse. Um, and then she would sleep maybe three more hours and then another like one or two after that. Um, so I've got her on the baby monitor while she naps. So um, during, so that's nighttime. Nap time, um, I never really, I just kind of let her sleep wherever she fell asleep, which was usually nursing. Um, you know, in the beginning, I just kind of let her just lay there and we just kind of hung out together. Um, when I started, you know, wanting to get up and move around and do stuff around the house and work out, I tried to very carefully move her to either her swing in the living room or to her bassinet. Now her bassinet that we bought is on wheels. So in the very beginning, I would always wheel the bassinet out to the living room so I could put her in there and I could still be out in the living room with her. She slept through the TV being on, people... Um, you know, having conversations, doing dishes, whatever, um, in the very beginning. So, sorry, I keep looking down at my, my notes so I don't miss anything. Um, so slowly after that, she started waking up almost every single hour of the night. Um, it got so bad that against my better judgment and... Um, I just really didn't want to co-sleep, but you know, when it hit like four or five o'clock in the morning and I had just gone back to sleep for 20, 30 minutes, um, I just put her in the bed with me, um, and just let her nurse so I could try to get a few more hours of sleep before I had to be up all day with her. So, um it was becoming a really big problem. I was super sleep deprived. I mean, of course everyone's sleep deprived at this point, but I was really hoping that it was just a phase that she was going through and that she would, you know, the next night she'd sleep more than an hour. Um, and she just wasn't, it just kept, it was not good at all. So I started researching um, about sleep training and I wish that I would have known that you could start at three months um, but I just kept thinking that was too early, but apparently you can start between three and four months. Whenever they start to transition from uh, newborn sleep to adult sleep, you can start sleep training. So, um, I didn't know that and we suffered for a while. So we didn't start sleep training until like right before she was four months, um, like a week or so or whatever before she turned four months. And I decided to go with the Ferber method, which is um, you basically like have your nighttime routine, you do things um, to help them, um, you know, get sleepy and to start recognizing that start, that it's getting time to go to sleep. Um, and then you put them down sleepy, but awake, um, which in the beginning it's like, yeah, right. You know what I mean? Um, but it, it gets better. So we started doing that and they said the Ferber method wants you to start with, you know, three minutes. You let them like 
cry or whatever. Um, and then you go back into the room, uh, you try not to pick them up, um, and you calm them down, you know, pat their booty, you know, shush them, um, you know, hum, sing, whatever you think that's gonna soul them down. Um, and then you go back out five minutes, go back in, wait, um, 10 minutes, and then you keep making the the intervals longer and longer. So um, we did that for a while and we are now up to, I just do 10 minutes. I don't let her go longer. Um, sometimes it'll be like 12 minutes if I think that like her crying is, um, you know, getting softer and she's like about to do it on her own. Um, I'll go a little bit longer and usually she does go to sleep on her own after that. Um, but if not, um, by 10 minutes, I go in. Um, and what works for us is, you know, I pat her on the butt a little bit and I shush or I hum um, one of the songs that I always sing her right before I do put her down initially. So when we first started sleep training, um, I moved into her nursery. We have a bed in there with her so I put the bassinet um, next to that bed and we slept in there together so I could not keep my boyfriend up all night um he works very hard during the day all day long hours and um he doesn't sleep well anyway so that's just it works for us I take care of her mostly at night and it's just easier. I feel like it's just easier that way. So, um, I thought I saw her wake up. Um, so then lost my train of thought. So I slept in there with her until we got a baby monitor. And even like the first night I, left the room and I'm like watching the, the monitor and she's, you know, she went to sleep or whatever. And I was, I just like laid on the couch. Like I was going to sleep there because the couch is, um, on the wall that's next to her room. And I just wanted to be as close to her as possible without actually being in the room. And my boyfriend made me get up and he's like, you know, this is the reason why we got the monitor so you can sleep in a bed and you know be assured that she is fine so I slept in the bed that was really hard for me um, oh, somebody woke up can you say hi to you two? Can you say hi? It's okay. It's okay. Come. You see yourself in the mirror? Oh. Who's that cute baby? Who's that cute baby? So now we have a nighttime routine and we have a nap time routine, which is basically the same. Um, just like one or two things are different. You know, nap times, we always, we go into her room and we read a book and then we get swaddled and then we turn on her humidifier and I sing to her, we turn the fan on, turn the light off, and we rock while I sing, and we turn the sound machine on, and then I put her down. So very slowly, she has been getting better at naps. They always say that um, they get nighttime better than nap time. And I didn't know this, 
but apparently it's normal for babies to sleep um, less than an hour, like 30 to 40 minutes before they are five months. So she is, she'll actually be five months in um, a few days, like two days, Friday, I guess. And, um, which it is true. She, she's always been under 40 minutes. So now we're starting to get about 40 minutes. The other day, yesterday, she took an hour and a half nap. Did you take an hour and a half nap? Mama loved that. Mama got to work out and stuff. Um, so the only difference for bedtime is that we, uh, we don't read, we just nurse instead. Um, we take a bath and we do lotion and massage and then we get PJs on um, and then we nurse and then we get the swaddle and then do the whole singing and sound machine and put her down. Um, so now with all of our routines down, um, she was still waking up four to six times a night, which is a lot. Um, six times really sucks. I was still putting her in the bed in the morning, co-sleeping in the mornings so I could get some more sleep. Um, I didn't really know what else to do. Um, the only thing that changed um, her getting longer increments at night was trying to wean off of night feedings. So I tried to stop cold turkey one night and that was one of the worst mistakes I've ever made in my entire life. I try, was trying to get her back to sleep for almost two hours with her just not happy at all um, until I was crying and I gave up and we nursed. So um, I've started to time the nursing at night um, and I started with cutting her off five minutes on each side and then putting her down. And she seemed completely content with that. Um, slowly, and I'll do that for a couple nights or whatever, and then slowly I'll, I go down to four minutes. Um, we're now down to three minutes and then either tonight or tomorrow, I'll try to cut down to like two, two and a half minutes. So that's really helped. She will get six or seven hours at first um, and then I go in and nurse her and then she gets like three-ish more hours and then like one or two. So I'm only getting up twice, sometimes once um, on a really good night occasionally. So um, that is how sleep training is going. It's taken about a month now to really get, you know, routine down and get her sleeping more um, so I can sleep more and we can be as happy as we possibly can, huh? Yeah. You gonna say something? She's really into biting everything. Everything goes in her mouth. My nose, all of her toys, her thumb. Oh, and another thing, she will not take a passy. She did when she was a newborn. And then all of a sudden it was like, they disgusted her. Like, how dare you put that thing in my mouth? Um, but she likes her hands in her mouth all the time. So that's gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, we really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.